So in this problem, we're told that the length of a rectangle is increasing at a rate of 7 centimeters per second, and its width is increasing at a rate of 6 centimeters per second. When the length is 15 and the width is 9 centimeters, how fast is the area of the rectangle increasing? So let's solve this problem. So uh, they've given us a bunch of information. They told us what the rate is of the length is increasing, the rate at which the width is increasing, and then they gave us length and width. And so what they're asking us for, though, is how fast area is increasing with respect to time. So essentially what they're asking us for is dA dt. And that's what they're asking us for. Let's, now let's write down what, what we're given. So we're told that the length of the rectangle is increasing at 7 centimeters per second. So the rate at which uh, the length is changing with respect to time. So that's going to be dL dt. And they tell us that that's 7. They also give us the rate at which the width is increasing. So the rate at which the width is changing with respect to time. And they tell us that that is 6. And then we're also given the length, so just L, which is 15. And then we're given width, which is 9. And so now that we got all our um, numbers laid out, what we can do is just uh, solve, solve for it. So the formula for the area of a rectangle is area equals length times width. And then so in order to like solve this, what we should do is differentiate this side because what we're trying to find is dA dt and if we differentiate a with respect to t it'll become dA dt and then all we got to do is differentiate this side and then plug in our variables and we'll get our answer. So we got to differentiate length times width. So since we have like two functions multiplying by each other what we want to use is the product rule. So we want to find the derivative of this and then multiply it by this and then find the derivative of w and then multiply it by l so the derivative of L with respect to T is going to be DL dt, right? So DL dt, and then we just multiply it by W. So we multiply by W, and then we plus the derivative of W with respect to T, so DW dt, and then we multiply it by L. And so we have all these variables over here. So all we got to do is just plug it in now. So DL dt is 7, so we just plug in 7. And then W is 9, so we plug in 9. And then we add it to dw dt, which is 6. And then uh, we multiply it by L, which is 15. So 7 times 9 is 63, plus 6 times 15, which is 90. And so if we add that together, we get 153. So 153 is going to be the answer to this, 153 centimeters squared per second.